Authorities have just released the name of the gunman who they say killed eight people at a San Jose rail yard this morning. Two law enforcement sources tell CBS News 57-year-old Samuel Cassidy, a Santa Clara Valley Transportation Authority employee, started shooting people at a light rail yard around 6.30 a.m. Pacific time. Investigators say eight employees were killed and several more injured. The accused gunman is also dead. The bomb squad is also on the scene searching for potential explosive devices. Joining us now with more on all of this is Len Ramirez, a reporter with our CBSN Bay Area team. Hi, Len. What is the latest you can tell us about what the bomb squad has found? Are there any active uh, explosives? Well, at this point, uh, we can't tell for sure whether or not they have found uh, any explosives. They did indicate at a news conference about an hour and a half ago that uh, they were investigating possible explosive uh, devices that may have been set as a result of this uh, shooting. Now, we can zoom in to tell you uh, what the location is like right now. We're about uh, a long city block uh, from where the VTA light rail yard is. The, you can see a couple of... Um, cars there from the uh, sheriff's department. Now they are uh, basically pulling a lot of people back while they investigate these explosive devices. Uh, we have not been told by any of the authorities whether or not they found any devices, any um, you know live devices at the scene, uh, but they are taking every precaution uh, because uh, as we know, there were uh, eight people who came in to work this morning for the VTA light rail system here in San Jose who are not going home tonight because they were killed at their workplace by a fellow employee who apparently also turned the gun on himself and committed suicide. Now, I did speak with uh, a gentleman who um, was at the facility this morning. Uh, he told me that uh, he got a text from his supervisor saying that there was a mass shooter uh, in the yard. And so uh, at that point, he said it, it was a, a matter of disbelief. He uh, didn't really think it could be possible. But then uh, police department officials began arriving, telling everyone to get down. And so this worker described how he got down and basically crawled to safety while the officers went in and tried to uh, either engage the uh, shooter or uh, investigate what was going on. The uh, shooter at that point apparently had already taken his life. We're trying to get more information from the police department on exactly uh, whether or not uh, officers fired their weapons at the shooter or the shooter uh, seeing the arrival of officers took his own life, uh, which is sometimes the case in situations like this. Back to you. What a, a harrowing situation that employee uh, described. Do you have any more details about the eight VTA employees who were killed or the ones who were injured? Uh, do we know if they had any sort of relationship uh, with the shooter? I mean, we know he was also an employee but no further information about uh, the relationship between them? Well, I, I have it from two sources uh, who told me that uh, this was uh, a union meeting uh, that happened uh, sometime around 6 or 6.30 this morning. And so uh, this was a pre-scheduled event, so a lot of um, employees were there for that meeting. I'm not sure what the uh, staffing would be like on a normal day if there were more people there because of this meeting. But apparently uh, that is from two sources of mine here in San Jose that said that uh, there was a union meeting and that is uh, when the gunman opened fire. Now we do know that uh, several people were also taken to the hospital in addition to the uh, eight fatalities here uh, on the ground in San Jose. Uh, we don't know the status of all of them. We do know that uh, some of them are critical. It's, it's devastating. And we do now know, uh, we have a name, law enforcement officials have told CBS News uh, the shooter is 57-year-old Samuel Cassidy, the alleged shooter. Uh, do we have any further information about this individual? Was he a member of the union? Was he meant to be at that meeting this morning? I don't know if he was a member of the union. Um, some of the indications that we're getting is that he may have been a supervisor, so I'm not sure uh, if he would still have union status at that point. Uh, but these are all um, 
is some of the loose details that we're trying to find out more uh, about this shooter. We do know that he was apparently uh, very uh, well armed uh, and he arrived here uh, with those arms to carry out uh, this uh, basically a massacre of fellow employees at the VTA rail yard. Len Ramirez in San Jose, thank you so much. We appreciate your reporting from the scene.